Hello. So I am a self-described liberal, and I honestly did not think that I would be so nervous, but I am. And I wanted to kind of clear up some things. You had said earlier that it's easy, you had asked if it's easy to hold liberals, is it easy to hold your beliefs? And oh, it's easy because the rest of society agrees with you, yada, yada, yada. However, that's not why I find it easy. I was liberal before it was cool. Um, I find my beliefs easy to hold because I believe them in my soul. And I feel like a lot of conservatives are the same way. Your, your beliefs aren't subject to acceptance or disacceptance. Um, some, um, something else, and I mean, and honestly, if it were about what would be easy, it would be, if I wanted to make my life more comfortable, I would change and become conservative. Um, because my husband has been caught up in and has changed his way of thinking to be a conservative person over the past couple of years. We'll and get you there. Caused absolute disarray. Um, so if it were something where I could just say, oh, well, you know, if you could get somebody to change sure. their values. Yeah, so let, let's try to make some progress. What do, you, um, what do you believe and why do you believe it? Well, I believe actually a lot of the same things you believe, just maybe in a more broad sense. Like, I believe in freedom. Okay. I believe in free speech. I believe in free speech for everybody. Um, I believe in freedom of expression. If you were born with a penis and you want to wear a dress, have at it. It's not my, it's not my life. And I don't get to dictate to anybody else what's right or wrong. Um, I don't believe that man is above nature because then is man unnatural? If man is separate from nature, is man unnatural? Man, man is made in the image of the creator. But I, I do want to I do want to mention zero in on one thing here, which is um, so you say it's you don't care what other people do. Just curious, like, do you do you think it should be okay for adults to perform drag performances in front of children? It depends on the on the nature of the performance. How about a sexually explicit one? Of course not. Okay, so. We agree on that. And by the way, most liberals don't, just so we're clear, right? I, I, yeah, I know zero liberals that think that it's okay to expose children to sexually explicit stuff. Okay, so you would be partners with me in removing child pornography from elementary schools? Yes. Okay, so you're a big fan of Ron DeSantis then? No. Well, he did that, and he was attacked by Disney, and he was attacked by every major left-wing group as harsh, anti-gay, don't say gay. He was just saying you're not allowed to put propaganda or pornography in front of kids. I think you're actually more conservative than you are liberal, than you give yourself credit um, for. No, 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 hold your applause. I am not, because where we differ is in how we define what is profane, what is pornography? How about oral sex to eight-year-olds? That's probably profane, right? Excuse me? Yeah, exactly. That's in, that's in textbooks across the country, including in this state, that liberals are defending as free speech. Okay. They're teaching eight-year-olds the most graphic sexual practices in public schools across the country. And I get smeared, slandered, and so does the American right as somehow being anti-LGBT, because I don't think a nine-year-old should be exposed to things that should be behind in the darkest depths of the human existence, right? So I, I guess we agree on that. What I'm trying to get, get at, though, is why you believe what you believe. And we could spend all night doing this. Um, you say you believe in freedom and free speech, right? Okay. So which side do you think the American right or the American left currently is doing a better job of protecting the idea of freedom of speech? Uh... Actually, they're both sucking pretty hardcore. They're both being absolutely horrible at it. How has the right been horrible at that? I'm um, 
curious. They're both being horrible in the exact same way. And it's who are they protecting or standing up for free speech for? Like free speech for who? Can I ask a theoretical question? Mm -hmm. Do you think if a liberal came to speak at University of Kentucky, they'd give an open mic like I just did to a conservative and had a discussion like this? I certainly hope they would. No, they wouldn't. Because speech is not a left-wing value. That's why Chuck mm -hmm. Schumer went on the Senate floor yesterday and called for the censorship of a cable television program. That is why they have to deploy shock troops called Antifa to go after everywhere I go. When I go to University of California Davis next week, there has to be 120 police officers because of the threats, the violent threats of liberals that want me dead, that want to disrupt our events. There are no right-wing hecklers that come to events like this. Michael Knowles, Matt Walsh, Ben Shapiro, myself, Candace Owens need 24-7, 365 armed security to prevent ourselves from the violent threats from the left. And so I think it's rather clear there is one side that is trying to do everything they can to shut one side up and one side that's trying to open up the marketplace of ideas. And I think that's rather self-evident. But I do want to thank you for coming here tonight and okay, demonstrating. I totally disagree with everything you just said. I don't discount that you've received death threats or anything like that. So but how about this? Public approval polls show that a majority of liberals do not believe the First Amendment is absolute. What do you have to say about that? It's, I mean, it's not absolute. There are restrictions to the First Amendment. Such there, as? There literally are legal restrictions to it. Outside of incitement, what would one be? Okay, um, let's see. Let me think back think, to high think, school civics class. Do you class. think hate speech should be disallowed? Um, fighting words is disallowed. Fight, not fighting words. It's, I mean, it's called that, though. Um, no, they're very much not disallowed, actually. They, they are disallowed if your speech is considered by a reasonable person to, and they harm you because of what you said. Wait, you mean hurt their feelings or physically no, harm them? No, I mean, okay. If you intentionally provoke a person with your speech, that is not protected speech. Yes, it is. It actually... The, the, the American Civil Liberties Union protected Nazis to be able to march in Skokie, Illinois, around Holocaust survivors. Grotesque, outrageous speech is absolutely protected by I'm the First Amendment. I'm not saying that grotesque... I'm saying that... I can't really explain it right now, but there there That's is fine. a limitation on that. Another limit is, like, you can't... Um, speech that, uh, like, you can't yell fire in a well, crowded you actually, theater. You actually can, but that's a separate constitutional issue. That's incitement. That's a separate issue. But I th I'm, thank you for being here tonight, and I don't think we made any progress, but we certainly see where we disagree.